What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, grab some merch on Teespring. The link is in the description below. And uh, all the all the money goes towards the new new channel project that will be coming up right after this Black Mountain series. So hope you guys are excited for that. I'm pumped about it. Be a cool project on the channel and uh, gonna be some cool content, that's for sure. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy the, the rest of our Black Mountain trip. Um, did some whitetail crawl action. Then, uh, then we rode into the night, and then uh, the following day is also thrown in the end of here. The weather turned for the worst, so um, content wasn't the greatest, but we may do with what we got, and there definitely was some rowdy shit, so stay tuned. All right, guys, a little bit of a carnage report, I guess you'd call it. We're dropping off the Talon. It's a uh, broke drive shaft. I don't know if that was actually said in the video, but that's definitely what it was, and then we are also dropping off the Care X, which is broke uh, axle shaft. And uh, we're running out of passenger seats <laughs> fairly quickly. But uh, I don't know, the weather turned to crap for a little bit there, but it's decent now. It's actually pretty nice now where we are. Up at Lions Den where we ate lunch was uh, real windy and that's when the rain kind of came through. So. We all got soaked, went back to camp, changed our clothes, and uh, now we're headed headed back out for some rock crawling. So, the trails are all super slimy. It sucks, because we won't be able to hit like the super gnarly stuff that we typically do. But I'm sure we'll still find hard stuff nonetheless. It's just like the, the easier stuff is now gonna be the harder stuff, I guess. Get out of the way! Well, that was bad. <laughs> Look at that. 35 did all the job there. You just see me walk right up it. Okay, I was in reverse trying to back up. Bad. the pink hat he'd be wearing it right now and that looks pretty rough right there Ooh. 
We always break parts. Especially diffs. Use that rock right there as a ramp for your back tire. Do whatever the heck you want anyway. It's always great when your spotter's like, uh, back up uh, and has to think about what direction you're gonna go because you're about to flip. Kiss that door goodbye, Ethan. Turner axle on the passenger side is bent now. So, uh, what trail are we on? Ethan, if you're trying to hit this rock, you need to go just, yeah. I forget. Yeah. I forget what this is called, whatever rock crawl this is. Um, a little bit more. Seems like the end got a little rougher than the last time we were here. And the Can Am wheelbase seems like it's not ideal for what what we're trying to climb so we'll keep getting you the film though basically straight from there
That poor Can Am. What did it do to surf that? If you guys are ever wondering how the waterfall gets dug out at Black Mountain, stay tuned. <laughs> You'll find out. Right, guys i'm sure you can't see me at this point but we are uh we're out here at the waterfall on the everett side and uh it's super dug out i mean you can't really see this in video i'd assume but there's like a three foot like mound right here right in front of the waterfall where all this dirt that's usually there is now there so you can't hit this with any momentum. This is super undercut down at the bottom and uh, really no chance. Plus everything is just, I mean, it's slime, you know? So I don't think the waterfall is is doable for us. We just seen some uh, tube chassis full-size rig kind of giving her a beat down on the, the middle line to the right and uh, had no chance really. But maybe we'll hit rail bed we're trying to do a little bit of night wheeling um, because tomorrow's weather looks really crappy. So trying to make advantage of the nice weather we got tonight. It's, it's like 50 and no rain, so not bad, you know. But the the problem is, is you can't film worth the crap. So it doesn't really create much of content for you guys. So we'll we'll grab clips when we can or when it's worth it. But like the rock crawl trails, like it's hard to light them up. Like we can light this up. <laughs> but we couldn't hit this because... I mean, we've, we've rolled up it, but there's no point putting it in the video because nothing really happened of it. But anyways, maybe you'll see some night shots here following this clip. All right, Billy, look at the darkness. Where are we at? Rail bed? Uh, yeah, top of rail bed. We're doing our best. Who's to say if this will even make it into the video? <laughs> but maybe we'll hear some pipe nonetheless. Maybe you won't see anything, but it should be eaten. <laughs> I get real fun.
hopefully we find a clip. And that you just seen it. But Josh is giving it a go. You gotta commit from like there. I've learned. <laughs> oh god. You got a spool, I'll just carry momentum through there. He's also you got, got a Rhino 2.0. No, that one will be in the air. I three wheeled really bad when I was in that hole. backed up driver right now. Yeah, That's what you did. <laughs> I was straight. You're good to back up. Huh? If it starts, you can back up driver. Just a little bit. <laughs> no gas. Be out of gas. Have, to have tank. We're gonna need some human horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. Uh, we need to go to the rock crawl now. Before I try this. Under like 40% on this angle, you run out it of gas. Says it's almost full. <laughs> because you're backwards. That's because you're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds healthy. <laughs> run the uh, run the pump. Yeah, you got a half tank, bud. That's probably Can you put it in neutral and roll off that or no? No. Get out of the way. Somebody catch me when I fall. <laughs> I want to see the action, you know? I think it's straight from there. <laughs> We don't want your input. <laughs> <laughs> there you know. <laughs> Turns out, not going to happen. Oh, God. All right, guys. We are out here on Turbo Hill. This is what the locals call it. There's no sign or nothing, but it's right like the Middle Fork playground area. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. It's super sloppy. And uh, Billy's up first. me but still on turbo hell just that's it justin's gonna that's it that's it justin's giving it a try So close. 
so muddy. I'm just getting peppered. She skied it on that one. Sorry guys, got some mud on the camera. If you want to try it one more time, but... Right there, I know you can't see me, but it's just so muddy. It just literally poured before we came out. Here, so we'll see what we can find next. I don't think anybody's got it. I don't think it's possible. Yeah. It doesn't appear that anybody's gonna get that. It's so you slick. All right, guys, next day. I think you guys just seen a couple night clips. It's really hard to tell because when you film with a GoPro at night, it just looks like you're filming darkness. But sometimes they do actually turn out decent. So I think we got a clip of Billy rolling. If that made the video, Billy. <laughs> yeah, that will be in there. For sale. For sale. <laughs> and to your never more. been beat comments yeah. down below. <laughs> Garage capped adult driven. <laughs> she looking she looking good though. What was that on? That oh, was on Earl Dagger. Yeah, it was all things considered, it was a really like perfect just roly poly down that hill. <laughs> so the fleet or the herd has thinned big yeah. time. We are down to so they they didn't see anything of this. Um, can you see it on camera? Even? Probably. What do we got going on here? Josh is all suited up in his hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we were just hitting some hill next to Turbo Hill. Yeah, like at Wide. Middle Fork, the playground area. Yeah, like if you go like up past like Turbo Hill, like, I don't know, basically like the main trail, you just look up a hill, there's like a big ledge that you kind of can jump over another trail, and then you'll just see like two ruts going it's up like in the darkness. Foot, probably. Way more. 100 150 it's, it's foot far. like total Why? like 100 feet and we all know. took to turns top? yeah all the way to like where we were trying to go yeah i don't know that was this was a ways up there, there. yeah it's a very well, long hill <laughs> it was dark you know <laughs> <laughs> but we all i don't it. think there was any clips but i was hitting me and billy i think i might have turned the camera on once for josh when he sent it Billy were heading it in high, <laughs> wide open, trying to get, get to the top. And Josh was giving her the sauce, not on camera, but, uh, and this is where the carnage came from, so. I mean, it's not really any carnage, it's just a plastic boost tube cracked. So, you know, I was almost made it. I was almost there, and then I, I'm, I lost the turbo. <laughs> lost the boosties. <laughs> so, where is this one? Or you can't see it. It's right where this little... Watch where the bellow is. is. Yeah. So just crack the boost tube? Yeah. Rip the plastic. Yeah. You'll have that on the big hills, you know? The big the big tunes. <laughs> You'll have that on these big tunes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. I think uh we're well I don't think. We're heading out now to uh do some more riding. It is the next day. As you can see, it rained a bunch. So this is delayed, probably Merry Christmas. I'd assume this is 
around that time by now. But uh, this video was filmed when like the tornadoes went through Kentucky. Luckily not where we are, you know, it was more like, what is that, west? From what I understand? Yes, Same system of storms came through and, you know, lots of rain and wind. Last night, it was like freaking what, 2 a.m. I think, and we were uh, we were getting ready to leave and we just hear trees crashing down. Yeah. So the, the wind was coming in, so we dipped out and came back and uh, waited out the rain. So hopefully the rain's done for today. Fingers crossed. And like uh, we're not gonna get wet anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we're suited up because the rigs are absolutely trash. I mean, if you guys seen my video installing the skid plate of my concern with them collecting mud. Oh my God. <laughs> what skid plate? <laughs> it's safe to say that was a pretty accurate assumption. It's it's stupid. <laughs> but I mean yours are yours are doing the same thing, but not as much. Yeah, not as much because it doesn't stick out as far as. I mean, I probably got like 100 pounds of mud on each side of that yeah. thing. That's crazy, but... Anyways, having a blast this trip. I just wanted to give Lifetime Trail Maps a shout out. They're the mapping that we use and uh, I want to appreciate them jumping on board, being a sponsor of the channel. So if you guys need any mapping for your off-roading, check them out. They got maps all over the country. All right guys, so I don't know if you can hear me over this waterfall or not, but you know, it's raining, it's wet, it's really wet. Uh, so my rig blew a charge tube. Man, my fault for running factory ones, but whatever. Uh, Billy and Justin are down there scoping out what they're about to try to hit, which is the top of your turn. So we'll we'll see if it's even possible. I mean, the rocks feel like they have quite a bit of traction right now, despite being as wet as it is. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Dear God, let the Zillas hook. Amen. I don't even know if you can hear Billy because the water is so loud, but he said we're praying to the Zilla gods. I know the canine super slicks wouldn't do this. They'd probably be stuck at the bottom still.
man, all I want to say is this looks like nothing in video, but off to my passenger side is a giant hole. So if you slip off of that line that I'm on there, you're basically going to flop into those trees and it'd be a really crappy recovery because there was really no good way to get to like the side to flop us over. And uh, so I didn't give it a give it its all. This does no justice of what it looks like, but just take my word for it. It was a rad obstacle. Probably should have gave it a little bit more sauce, but it was the beginning of the day. Didn't really want to break. We were running out of machines <laughs> also. So I was trying to be a little bit conservative. Yet. 
We gotta get her loaded first. So exciting.